Hello, good Hello, evening. evening. Sorry for some unforeseen technical issues. And uh, tonight we want to tell you something very special about our upcoming game, Worm of Rills. Uh, and it's actually not going to be us who is going to speak. Yeah, um, today you can talk with uh, one of our devs, uh, Kuba Stefno. Uh, he was working uh, before on Hatred. Yeah, yes. yeah on hat yeah. Hatred, and now he is one of the devs of War of Mongrels. So you can ask him anything and check it out. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but before we invite Kuba in front of the screen and one of us steps aside, can they choose on chat who steps aside? Yeah, no? you can. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Uh, before we invite Kuba here, we would like to show you a video. Yeah. Uh, check out our limited collector's edition of War of Mongrels, only 1944 copies. So get your own right now. Right now, exactly. Uh, but uh, we will allow the creators to speak, I think. And the creators are Das Forma. Perhaps you know them from our stream. So, okay. Enjoy the video. Hello, hello, hello. This is Mark from Das Forma. We, together with Destructive Creation, prepared something unique for you. Inside our crate, you will find a lot of merch, but not any kind of merch. This is one of the kind, limited edition, customized only for you merch that is fully related to the game but not any game this is war mongrels check it out there are no plastic inside there are no cheap chinese sub products everything is made in europe everything is made with love everything is made with passion it's not an item this is an item of honor and it's only available now in limited edition. We have many unique people on board. Check out what Kasia, Pavel, Isa and whole production team prepared for you. It's not just any products. This is handmade, detailed, perfect custom merch. One of the kind. Only 1944 will be made. They are so unique. Check it out. Go, go, soldier! Go ahead and buy it. Only 1,944 crates are made. 1,944 crates prepared for you by our special Das Forma team. Are you ready for it? What war mongrels can do to you? Ask yourself what you can do for war mongrels. Rawr! 
Okay, good evening everybody. So uh, this is Kuba, one of our devs, and uh, actually we would be very pleased if you asked us any questions about uh, worm on growth. And uh, actually today the topic of uh, the stream is combined hatred and uh, worm on growth. And it's no coincidence because Kuba also worked on hatred how many years ago? I think it was like seven years ago or something. Like we started developing in like 2014, I guess. Okay, so yeah, seven yeah, years. I think, like, Time flies. Like yeah, it took us exactly a year from starting the company, I think like June 2014, and you know, we shipped the game like the first June of 2015. So it's exactly a year, 10 of us. It was a hell of a ride. <laughs> okay, so uh, what what's it like working in such a small team? It was fun, actually. You know, we 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 all felt the the project like we didn't really have to had a lot of meeting. We all knew what we were doing. We all felt what this game needs to be that needs to be. So so it actually uh, was developed from the very deep of the heart. <laughs> we, 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 we started this, uh, developing this game at the moment that most of us was really pissed about in a very bad place in our lives and we, we, we used this anger to, to put it in the game, I think it's, it's something that you can feel. And what about Worm on Growth? Is it the same like about the emotional background that you have mentioned? Well, when I think about Worm on Growth, I think the, the very basis of it is uh, it came from the talks we had in our company about the roots of our families like here in Poland uh, the history is still very very close to us like the the World War II is something that is they came up very often in our, in our talks in the company the roots of our families in, in of the people in the company and each of us has very different roots we had uh, we have we have we have ancestors from both sides of the of the world. So, so during these talks, we I think that was one of the basis why why we started working on this. Okay, too. so it's uh, been a lot of change. Oh yeah, actually. <laughs> so uh, what I would like to precisely ask about is something that people relate to hatred very much, and of course this aspect is the whole mechanics of shooting, and. Um, a lot of people have been to wonder if any mechanics from hatred uh, actually will be incorporated into Wormongrels. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So Wormongrels is a real-time tactics game. So obviously it's a stealth game, but when we started working on this title, uh, and you need to know it's a very brutal and dark game, uh, enough to say that we picked one of the most uh, gory uh, periods of the World War II. So during the development, uh, we noticed that when you when you see some of the things that happened and like the mass executions of the civilians, uh, like the one in Ponari, when there's like train after train after train, uh, civilians can see being it here killed. Actually, yes. Yeah, you I can mean, actually you see. Uh, well, yeah, just before we felt that sometimes we just want to kill stuff. And what, what is what is uh, similar with war monglers and hatred is this creating this emotion of of urge of killing. I guess sometimes you just want to kill stuff, and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, basically. <laughs> so, so because of that, uh, we added this uh, combat mode, which is basically turning the whole game into a twin stick sh shooter mode. Uh, basically the same as Hatred. Well, improved. Actually, it's improved, but it has the same feel, um, which allows you to kill kill the enemies if you want. Uh, well, if 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 you can, obviously. And uh, when I think about this feature, I think it's like uh, it's like a love letter to Hatred to all the fans. It's like a great salute to to this game because it's something that. I don't think ever happened in this in this genre of the game. So perhaps uh, we could uh, observe uh, a part of uh, gameplay of uh, Wormongrels. So um, can
Can you tell us more about the map that we can see here in the background and later we will pass to the mechanics for chess? So this is, this is the second level of our game, basically somewhere in the middle of it. It was, uh, it's the part of the level that, uh, I mean, this level we already showed in the first gameplay we showed of it. And uh, so our, our heroes here came to the, which are, which are deserters from, from, from Wehrmacht at this point, these two. Uh, they have freed their one from AK, which is a um, Polish resistance. Um, and they, they came here to the, to the village just to, just to, to get some resources like food and, uh, and the ga gasoline to the bike, the motorbike. But during the during the mission, they, they they noticed the mass executions of civilians in the village, and they decide to stop this. And uh, at this point, in the, what you can see is uh, the part when when they where they want to blow up the bridge, which which is used by Germans to uh, to deliver the civilians to the mass grave to the execu execution site. And uh, from the point of view of the mechanics, can you tell us why the screen blinked black at some point? Oh yeah, so we have this uh, whole mode of uh, planning mode, uh, which is we, which allows you to slow down the game, uh, slowly develop your plan, and uh, plan your actions. You want you want to trigger at any time uh, you want. You you simply have all the actions uh, under your button for each hero. And, and then you can just you can plan all everything, and then just uh, play your plan uh, when you want. So now we see that some error happened. Yes, I mean the screen, uh, the a part of it, the field of view went red. And why was that? So so what you saw there is um, the player here wanted to to try some sneaky action to kill to kill the enemies uh, by this uh, stack of logs but he he didn't make it well and they heard him so he he changed to, um, to combat mode and just attack them from behind attack them from behind to um, just kill them easily Okay, and now we can see the scene of the bridge being uh, demolished, yes? Basically. Yeah, 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 that's the, that's, that's the bridge that the train used. Um, okay. Yeah, we have been informed that at some point uh, our screen on Twitch went basically blank. So it worked at the beginning and it seems that we have some technical issues today because everything seems to be working. Um, and we, I think that at this point uh, we can invite you to our Steam uh, product pages because this is where the stream goes well at this point. Uh, we have a great thunderstorm here, basically, in Gliwice, and there has just been a very heavy rain, uh, plus there were thunders and lightnings. So uh, we are very sorry about any inconvenience, uh, but I guess if we're lucky, we still have electricity, I think. Facebook is working again, guys. So uh, could you please uh, forgive us for all the difficulties today and either go to Steam uh, product pages of either War Mongrels or Hatred uh, or to Destructive Creations Facebook. And I guess that we're very lucky that in all this weather we can still stream. And also thank you, Cyprian, for your nice Facebook comment that you're so hyped. Um, okay, so basically, I hope you can see us at least on, on Facebook. Um, do you guys ha have any questions to Kuba? Because he has explained the whole idea about the mechanics of this whole level. Plus he gave you the historical background. Um, people on Twitch are complaining that they can't see the handsome guy who is talking. No, it's my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, well, I think soon enough in that case. Um, Alright, so guys, uh, do you have some 
questions, bigger or smaller ones, about uh, warm mongrels. We hope that you do. So think about it carefully, and I think that in the meantime, we can just remind you that we are uh, preparing a limited edition uh, of warm mongrels, the collector's uh, edition starter pack and it will be strictly limited. There will be only 1,944 copies produced, no more, no less. And I think that in the meantime, when you guys think about questions, uh, we can show you once more the ad. Oh, we have a question. So Kuba, is your face gonna be in more mongrels like it was in other games? I'm not sure actually because I, I was in a hatred. I think I was in a in a war uh, I mean in the ancestors. I'm not sure. What did you? No, do I, I don't think I was in a no no no. no so no. in hatred, mo most of the most of the inside jokes was made by the by the artists. So 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 they had this okay. so had this whole they had this whole whole prank about me that there was the there was the level about the elections uh, mayor elections in the downtown it was fifth level uh, in hatred uh, it was the level that you had to kill the the mayor of the city a candidate of, for the mayor of the city and actually the, it was the election time so all the all the banners and billboards in the city was full of my my faces with was like a election election posters and this kind That's of stuff nice. and they made, they, they they made it all, all, all the city was full of it and uh, we had a lot, hatred had a lot of this kind of things like we had a we had a, we had a very strong community during during the development and we had this uh, forum which which had uh, a lot of a lot of um, flyers had, had spoke to us and I think the modes of it and administrators and the, uh, the most mostly it, mo most of the people that spoke with, with us we put their names in hatred as a graffiti in uh, different kind of parts of the of the game mm -hmm. we had uh, we, we had uh, a lot of this kind of things I actually I even had the billboard of my my friend's uh, pub, gaming pub, uh, there, it was in the city. Mm. But during the ancestors, actually, well, it was a medieval, medieval age, early medieval uh, age game. I said, so it was in, a, in this kind of setting, so uh, we didn't really have a lot of chance to add this kind of stuff, but in a few levels, I was the one that added added few few billboards, like flags and uh, flags, Somewhere between the buildings in the in the cities in the ancestors, where with the with the quotation from from guys from our team and their faces, but I was the one that did that, so 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 I didn't did it with myself, uh, and no one else participated, I think, in this in the in this prank, and um, in warmongers. Any plans for putting faces of the dead? Oh. I, there already are some some faces of devs there uh, in Warmongers, but n I don't think anyone showed me that I'm in it. I, I I'm not sure. All right, let's I never look checked. It. Uh, maybe actually maybe I, it's already there, but I, maybe I will discover it after the the shipping. It's uh, it will be a surprise for me too. And uh, we have another question from Facebook. Are there any kids in Warmongers? Well, we thought about this for a long time and we thought uh, at the end we didn't add any kids but not because we are afraid of the subject of kids brutality or anything like that it was just a production decision we, we just didn't have enough resources to, to add them it's not something we're afraid of that's pretty understandable like uh, we can assume that kids would be the first to be removed from the yeah. front line and secure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, and a question that I'm personally, I'm very surprised it was only asked once. Um, are you making hatred too? It would be great to make one. I think that 
most of the devs that uh, worked on the hatred one still uh, still work with us we, we it's our core team so so we are all here again uh, still here but uh, i don't we we have a we have a pretty good idea about the hatred 2 but i don't i don't think we are ready for it yet uh, we, we we really want it to be something special and we need more resources for that, I guess. Yeah, because usually the answer is uh, no, there isn't going really to be hatred mm -hmm. too. Yeah, it's, it's not something that you, you, could, you should expect. So. All right, so it, it's not the point of focus no. right now at all. It's, a, it's, it's something we, we love, like it's something that it's the basis of this company, so, so everyone has, has it deeply in the heart, but it needs, it needs a special care we cannot give it now. Definitely. Uh, all right, so uh, Cyprian on Facebook is writing. Uh, he is hoping the antagonist comes in Europe for his second foray. If he decides to try reincarnation, LOL, or one of his followers. Well, uh, I think it's a far-fetched idea. But nice, <laughs> definitely. And uh, we have a small discussion about dogs being killed in werewolf grills. So can you tell us more about the animals in that game? Uh, yeah, actually, mm, there are dogs which are which are which which are basically a part of the. Well, works works with the with the with the Germans with the Wehrmacht and the, with the SS. Uh, some of the, some of the some of the soldiers patrol the cities like during during the, during the during the night or during, in the prisons we have or camps. Uh, mm, it's basically it, it, that's how it works. So so they had they had the dogs. So we, we had to implement them in the in the game. And they, they add a lot actually. It's a very different kind of enemy. They can sense you from from the distance. It's very difficult to uh, to escape from them, to hide from them. And once they catch you, you, you need the help of someone else to to free your your character um, from their from their grip. So in this uh, shooting mode, uh, is every enemy vulnerable? in the shooting mode or for example it only works on human enemies or can you just shoot anybody like in hatred literally? oh yeah you can you can kill anybody yeah you should <laughs> so it's like the last resort basically yeah it's the last resort it's a, a source of a lot of fun you know when when we when we worked on the hatred we had a lot of questions for a feature which was uh, when players had uh, played this game, they, they sometimes they came to the point that they were surrounded by en surrounded by enemies, and they 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 didn't have much things to do. They they could just wait for the for getting killed. And I remember some of them I like they really asked for the feature to to have a button just to shoot it in your head, just to kill yourself, just not to be just not to be captured by the police. To, to do it yourself, and uh, in war monglers, when you when you get noticed by enemies, you, you still don't need to run. You can you can just take your weapon out and start your fight. You 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 are at, at, at the at the end. You are you are the soldier. So um, is it possible that uh, I don't know? For example, uh, maybe let's check out the gameplay one more time. Uh, is it possible that after? Mm, just playing the level using the stealth mode up to some point you mess things up and you have to use the you can use the shooting mode and can you complete the level like this successfully or is it just you know are you doomed to die well you can you can switch to this mode at any point it's not something spirited it's it's your it's your ability of any of any hero that he can switch to this mode at any point of the game and he can st he could he can start fighting but um, if if you start if you, you you need to pick your battles it's not something for the most of the time you're the grants of the enemy basically in some either it's a village captured by enemy or it's a camp 
concentration camp or a prison or or in the middle of the city you usually it's like a lot of enemies nearby so so we we I think we are more we have more realistic approach so you know like in this like in this like in this gameplay we, you can see there you have three heroes there so you know you can you can start the fight with three five maybe six other enemies but once you start with like start the fight in the middle in the middle of the prison with hundreds of enemies around not something you can you can win right you, you have to be smart about this fight you, you need to start uh, to make uh, traps for enemies you need to some some of the enemy it's good to some to kill some of the enemies to to move to the better position so you you get a better position you have a better position to kill them from uh, as a surprise then then you can you uh, it's a better idea to start fighting with them once you have the a better position. And uh, we have one more question, uh, very closely connected. Uh, will we have a gore system like dismemberment, blood spatter, projection, or will it be a standard one? Thinking of elite parties and resistance and Quentin Tarantino, I can't be the only one, says Cyprian. <laughs> uh, so. So obviously we have blood spatters, projection, and this kind of stuff, but uh, it, it has to be there. And I think it's, well, it's a lot of blood there. And a lot of gore, but in the gore, in the meaning of, you see a lot of stuff that happening, like the execution of civilians, the concentration camps, uh, gas chambers, uh, this kind of moody, dark, um, brutal at the end of the day. Uh, uh, things you see, but it's not something that happens in a game made by a player. Like uh, it's not like you're gonna explode when being shot by the pistol or anything like that. I mean, an enemy is not gonna explode from that. If there is an event that if you wanna, I don't know, blow up the bridge or something, people are there. They're gonna be affected. But okay, and uh, we have one more question from Bahar. Where uh, does the storyline come from? Mm. Uh, so, so the game is um, based. Uh, I mean, the setting of the game is in the um, starts in the 1944, in the, and it shows the actual actual historic or background. But the storyline itself, the the things that happen in the game to our characters are inspired by some of the real-time events, historical events, um, some of the Polish heroes like, uh, uh, like uh, Karski or uh, Pilecki, but it's all combined and uh, the names are changed and uh, some of the, and we, our, our heroes do some of the things from many different characters, so, so the, the things that happening to our heroes are uh, fiction, but based um, but the hist historical background and the and the and the um, maps and the cities and the, and the camps or the maps are, are historical, more or less. So we're gonna have more streams also uh, in in the nearest future. Actually, in the next two weeks. So one of them will be devoted to the storyline much yeah. more. Um, today we are focusing on the mechanics of the game, especially on shooting mode, uh, which uh, reminds people of hatred, basically. Good. And uh, actually, I got a question on Steam, I think it was yesterday, from uh, one of the uh, players who are very interested in the game, and he asked if Mm, if it's possible or even desired to complete the game 100% using stealth. Well, um, the things you do, the things you do in the game, like the the one you you just saw you, you just saw in the on the on on the gameplay, like blowing the bridge, it's a pretty big thing to do. It, Enemies can notice that, so so you, you cannot hide 
this kind of actions. So at some point of the of the game, you will you will be forced to to put your gun uh, to take your gun and, and stand your ground and fight with them. Uh, but uh, besides the, the this kind of things, all the all the parts of the map that are not this kind of big events, you you, you can all finish them by stealth. So the situations you've mentioned are fixed, and for example, after blowing the bridge, a fight emerges. And yeah. is it possible never, never ever to enter the shooting mode if you don't want to, if you want to be stealthy? Yeah. Or is it rather like at some point you must use the shooting mode? Yeah, there are some some point. Well, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't need to, uh, you don't need to switch to the to the combat mode. Uh, you can try shooting them or trying to kill them by in melee as a melee. But uh, I think uh, in some in some parts of the game uh, are just designed for the combat mode to shine. And if you if you if you if you pick pick up the combat mode, you obviously it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be a lot a lot of more more fun than just trying to 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 get against that. You you can try, obviously. Uh, why not? Why not? Uh, all right, and uh, we have another question. Is there open world in the game? Well, mm, I think uh, we have a pretty big uh, free roam levels, and uh, most of them are very open. So you, you can pick which quest you do in any order you want, but, um, and the whole storyline of the game is very connected to each other. We have this uh, blending, blending experience from traversing from one level to the, to to other, uh, but still it's more like instances, in instant instances of, of the levels. So it's a big big levels, uh, big free roam levels, but it's not a one huge map. And is it possible to eliminate all the enemies from the map, or do they keep respawning at some point? Oh no no. You 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 can kill them all, yeah. Okay, and then the map is free, basically. Yeah, if you if you do that, you you can try. Actually, yeah, we we I think it's it'll be cool if if you try to do that. Okay. Yeah, prepare for that. Yeah. And we have one more question, and I was sure this question would finally happen. Uh, Cyprian says that one of the features that are the most attractive for him is the cooperation mode because he's been wanting to play a commandos type game with that feature included. And uh, is it possible to say anything more at this point or it's too early? Yeah, so we have, we have a co-op mode for two players when each of the players take control of uh, of the heroes on the map and they it's not something assigned you can pick any hero you want you can play each each hero can play two different uh, select all and any heroes on the map it's, so you are free to change them in the middle of the map if you, if you have on the map four four characters you can change like we you have you you can play first two characters on the beginning of the level then switch to other ones doesn't matter. Uh, you can cooperate with your with your friends. They can jo uh, join join at any time of your session, mm, and uh, which is nice. I think is that uh, during this cooperation, uh, you still can unlock all the achievements and the challenge. You finish the all the challenges we have on the on the in, in the game, so you can always have your friend to help you with, with unlocking stuff and finishing the game. Okay, so the next question uh, is hatred oriented. Uh, so we're skipping, no, we're jumping to the past actually. Uh, did you get inspired by Max Payne when you were creating hatred? Um, well, I think, I think most of us played at least the first Max Payne uh, at some point and uh, we enjoyed the uh, 
the mood of the game actually I think the mood is something similar this this uh, this kind of mood but it wasn't something that we had actually as a as a reference to, to hatred we, we had it somewhere that everyone knew that but it wasn't something we, we, we wanted to to implement in, in, inside the game so now we're jumping back to 2021 and Pedro wrote that uh, this game takes him back to 2002 actually when Commandos 2 came out um, and uh, basically he enjoyed the game very much and uh, I think it's a very common reference that uh, War Mongrels is like Commandos mm. yeah I think I think that when we start when we are starting, start, we start, started collecting the references for, for our game. The the biggest reference is the Commandos. Actually, Commandos Two, I think it was the the best of the series. Uh, because it was it wasn't like Commandos Three when they added the whole three D three D stuff yet, so which we didn't work well, I think, and uh, and it was much better than the Commandos One when they had this. Uh, crazy user interface uh, that no one really can work with now. If you if you try if you try, it's help. Uh, something that I was surprised because when when I started when, when I was younger when I, when I heard this game played this game on for the first time it was something that well I had only this game so I had to play it. But now when I try try to play it after those years it's very difficult. So well, what we are trying to do is we, we took this kind of games like real-time uh, real tactics uh, like Commandos and we wanted to, uh, to preserve the, the feeling of this game and the mood of this game but um, try to make it more user-friendly, more um, 2021 I guess, which is like, you know. Uh, yeah. It's more what people expect nowadays yeah. from technology, let's say. Okay, I think we can um, take a short break. Perhaps uh, you will have some more questions and uh, think about them very well because uh, the next chance to ask devs a question will be next week, exactly on Thursday. And in the meantime, uh, we would like to really show you the actually the upcoming um, limited collector's edition of War Mongrels. And without further ado, because we discussed it at the very beginning, uh, just feel free to watch the ad prepared by the creators by Das Forma. Hello, hello, hello. This is Mark from Das Forma. We, together with Destructive Creation, prepared something unique for you. Inside our crate you will find a lot of merch, but not any kind of merch. This is one of the kind, limited edition, customized, only for you, merch that is fully related to the game, but not any game. This is War Mongrels. Check it out. There are no plastic inside. There are no cheap Chinese sub products. Everything is made in Europe. Everything is made with love. Everything is made with passion. It's not an item. This is an item of honor. And it's only available. There are no plastic inside. There are no cheap Chinese sub products. Everything is made in Europe. Everything is made with love. We have many unique peoples on board. Check out what Kasia, Paweł, Iza and whole production team prepared for you. It's not just any products. This is handmade, detailed, perfect custom merch. One of the kind. Only 1944 will be made. They are so unique. Check it out.
go, go, soldier. Go ahead and buy it. Only 1,944 crates are made. 1,944 crates prepared for you by our special Dasforma team. Are you ready for it? Don't ask what war mongrels can do to you. Ask yourself what you can do for war mongrels. Okay, uh, we seem to have a lot of technical difficulties today, like really, really a lot. And perhaps the heavy rain is to blame, um, but we have struggled through. Do you guys have, if you have any more questions? <laughs> now I can hear myself, for example. I have no idea where it's from. It was a magical rain today, I suppose. Um, yeah, so I think that we can finish for today and the next stream with developers will be next week. Uh, last question, okay, do you have some funny anecdotes from work? Funny anecdotes? Let me think, we have a lot. Okay, we are hearing ourselves, although it's impossible, basically. Um, but it's funny, so I think we... This is a funny anecdote. <laughs> <laughs> that we can hear ourselves. Um, okay, so Kuba, can you share one of them? Oh, let me think a second for, about it. That's very funny, we seem to have some device pranking us right now and we have really no idea what it could be, <laughs> basically. Um, so, what? can you share one or would you rather not share because of the uh, content of this anecdote? Well, I think at this point I cannot really remember anything. Uh, I, I'm out of context at, actually at this point. Okay, so I think that uh, the most important questions asked by our viewers have been uh, answered and basically that uh, we can meet next week. Uh, we won't share yet what that stream will be about, but it will be announced on our social media. And uh, I think that mm, we can say thank you to Kuba for being with us tonight. Fun. It sure was fun. Uh, luckily, the thunderstorm didn't blow us up, so we could share anything with you. So thank you very much, and uh, good night or goodbye, wherever you are. Bye.